Everything exists in the greater community in terms of the manifestations of life. And though life as we have been describing it seems difficult and challenging, the Creator works everywhere, reclaiming the separated through knowledge. In the greater community, there can be no one religion, one ideology or one form of government, that can be adapted to all races and all peoples. Therefore, when we speak of religion, we speak of the spirituality of knowledge, for this is the power and presence of knowledge, that dwells in all intelligent life within you, within your visitors, and within other races, that you will encounter in the future. Thus, universal spirituality becomes a great focal point. It brings together the divergent understandings and ideas, that are prevalent in your world, and gives your own spiritual reality a shared foundation. Yet the study of knowledge is not only edifying, it is essential for survival and advancement in the greater community. For you to be able to establish and sustain your freedom and independence in the greater community, you must have this greater ability developed amongst enough people in your world. Knowledge is the only part of you that cannot be manipulated or influenced. It is the source of all wise understanding and action. It becomes a necessity within a greater community environment, if freedom is valued, and if you wish to establish your own destiny without being integrated into a collective or another society. Therefore, while we present a grave situation in the world today, we also present a great gift, and a great promise for humanity, for the Creator would not leave you unprepared for the greater community, which is the greatest of all thresholds, that you as a race will face. We have been blessed with this gift as well. It has been in our possession for many of your centuries. We have had to learn it both out of choice, and out of necessity. Indeed, it is the presence and the power of knowledge which enables us to speak as your allies, and to provide the information, that we are giving in these discourses. Had we never found this great revelation, we would be isolated in our own worlds. Unable to comprehend the greater forces in the universe which would shape our future and our destiny. For the gift that is being given in your world today has been given to us, and to many other races as well who showed promise. This gift is especially important for emerging races such as your own who hold such promise, and yet are so vulnerable in the greater community. Therefore, while there can be no one religion or ideology in the universe, there is a universal principle, understanding and spiritual reality, that is available to all. So complete is it, that it can speak to those who are vastly different from you. It speaks to the diversity of life and all of its manifestations. You, living within your world, now have the opportunity, to learn of such a great reality, to experience its power and grace for yourselves. Indeed, ultimately this is the gift, that we wish to reinforce, for this will preserve your freedom and your self-determination, and will open the door to a greater promise in the universe. However, you have adversity and a great challenge at the outset. This requires you to learn a deeper knowledge and a greater awareness. Should you respond to this challenge, you become the beneficiary, not only for yourself, but for your entire race. The teaching in greater community spirituality is being presented in the world today. It has never been presented here before. It is being given through one person, who serves as the intermediary and speaker for this tradition. It is being sent into the world at this critical time when humanity must learn of its life in the greater community, and of the greater forces, that are shaping the world today. Only a teaching and understanding from beyond the world, could give you this advantage and this preparation. You are not alone in undertaking such an a great task, for there are others in the universe undertaking this, even at your stage of development. You are but one of many races emerging into the greater community at this time. Each one holds promise, and yet each is vulnerable to the difficulties, challenges and influences, that exist in this greater environment. Indeed, many races have lost their freedom before it was ever attained, only to become part of collectives, or commercial guilds or client states to larger powers. We do not wish to see this happen for humanity, for this would be a great loss. It is for this reason, that we are here. It is for this reason, that the Creator is active in the world today, bringing a new understanding to the human family. It is time for humanity, to end its ceaseless conflicts with itself, and to prepare for life in the greater community. You live in an area, that has a great deal of activity beyond the sphere of your tiny solar system. Within this area, trade is carried on along certain avenues. Worlds interact, compete and sometimes conflict with each other. Opportunities are being sought by all who have commercial interests. 
They seek not only resources, but also allegiances from worlds such as your own. Some are part of larger collectives. Others maintain their own alliances on a much smaller scale. Worlds that are able to emerge into the greater community successfully have had to maintain their autonomy and self-sufficiency to a great degree. This frees them from exposure to other forces which would only serve to exploit and manipulate them. It is indeed your self-sufficiency and the development of your understanding and unity that become most essential for your well-being in the future. And this future is not far off, for already the influence of the visitors is becoming greater in your world. Many individuals have acquiesced to them already and now serve as their emissaries and intermediaries. Many other individuals simply serve as resources for their genetic program. This has happened, as we have said, many times in many places. It is not a mystery to us, though it must seem incomprehensible to you. The intervention is both a misfortune and a vital opportunity. If you are able to respond, if you are able to prepare, if you are able to learn greater community knowledge and wisdom, then you will be able to offset the forces that are interfering in your world and build the foundation for greater unity amongst your own peoples and tribes. We, of course, encourage this, for this strengthens the bond of knowledge everywhere. In the greater community, warfare on large scale rarely occurs. There are constraining forces. For one thing, warfare disturbs commerce and resource development. As a result, large nations are not allowed to act recklessly, for it impedes or offsets the goals of other parties, other nations and other interests. Civil war occurs periodically in worlds, but large-scale warfare between societies and between worlds is rare indeed. It is partly for this reason that skill in the mental environment has been established, for nations do compete with each other and attempt to influence one another. Since no one wants to destroy resources and opportunities, these greater skills and capabilities are cultivated with varying degrees of success amongst many societies in the greater community. When these kinds of influences are present, the need for knowledge is even greater. Humanity is ill prepared for this. Yet because of your rich spiritual heritage, and the degree to which personal freedom exists in your world today, there is promise that you may be able to advance in this greater understanding, and secure your freedom and preserve it. There are other constraints against warfare in the greater community. Most trading societies belong to large guilds, that have established laws and codes of conduct for their members. These serve to constrain the activities of many who would seek to use force to gain access to other worlds and their proprietary resources. For warfare to break out on a large scale, many races would have to be involved, and this does not happen often. We understand that humanity is very warlike and conceives of conflict in the greater community in terms of warfare, but in reality you will find that this is not well tolerated and that other avenues of persuasion are employed in place of force. Thus, your visitors come to your world not with great armaments. They do not come bringing large military forces, for they employ the skills that have served them in other ways skills in manipulating the thoughts, the impulses and the feelings of those whom they encounter. Humanity is very vulnerable to such persuasions, given the degree of superstition, conflict and mistrust that are prevalent in your world at this time. Therefore, to understand your visitors, and to understand others whom you will encounter in the future, you must establish a more mature approach to the use of power and influence. This is a vital part of your greater community education. Part of the preparation for this will be given in the teaching in greater community spirituality, but you must also learn through direct experience.